early days, no one ever died. They just kept getting older and older. This suited the people of Earth just fine. No one wants to see a loved one go away after all. And no one was worried about the fact nobody ever died. Well, nobody but Coyote anyway. Coyote noticed that every generation brought more people to the world. Children grew up and they had more children. With the population always rising, there would come a day in which there would just be too many people for the Earth to support. There would be no food, no clean water, and not enough shelter for everyone. People would be sick and starving with no way to end the suffering. They would simply be hungry and cramped and unhealthy forever. Coyote shivered at the horrible thought. There had to be a way to prevent this. What if people could go away back into the Earth? Not everyone, just some people. From there, as long as the remaining people were wise and didn't have too many children, there could be a bounce so the Earth could recover and everyone would have a chance to be happy. Coyote brought his thoughts to the tribal elders. They didn't like what he had to say, but he had a good point. They didn't want anyone to go away forever, though. It was decided that volunteers would be taken. The volunteers would go into a deep trance in which they would not need food or water. Their spirits would go on vacation, and they wouldn't remember a thing until they woke back up. From there, they would be reawakened later on. Coyote said this wouldn't be enough, but the elders had already made their decision. The oldest people and those who were sick decided to volunteer for the trance. They were taken to a special hut in which the shaman burned some herbs. He beat his drum and sang a special song to put all of the volunteers into a deep trance. Outside the hut, a dust storm kicked up into a whirlwind. The whirlwind entered the hut and whisked away the spirits off to explore the world. Coyote saw this and formulated a plan. The volunteers were laid to rest in a hut that was guarded for their own safety, and life continued on as always. The volunteers were missed, but nobody was sad as everyone knew they were going to come back. When the time came, the volunteers were stretched out in the ceremonial hut, and the shaman began to burn his herbs. He beat his drum and sang, and outside a dust storm kicked up into a whirlwind. Coyote saw the whirlwind and covered the hut door with a blanket. The whirlwind couldn't get in, so the spirits of the volunteers could not return. They stayed deep in the trance. The elders thought it was strange, but asked the shaman to try again when the time was right. Perhaps the shaman had done it wrong. And so the tribe waited, and then repeated the ritual. As before, the whirlwind kicked up, and like the first time, Coyote ran out and put a blanket over the door. After the second failure, people were getting worried. Why weren't their friends and family coming back? The elders decided to try one more time. The shaman burned his herbs and beat his drum. This time, the elders secretly set out a guard near the hut, just in case something was stopping the spirits from returning. As before, the whirlwind kicked up, but this time, Coyote saw the guards. He grabbed his blanket and distracted the guards by throwing sand in their faces. This gave him just enough time to throw the blanket over the door before running away. Now the entire tribe knew who was to blame. They brought Crowdy before the elders and demanded an explanation. He told them that making the people go away for a little while just wouldn't be enough. They needed to go away forever or the earth would become overburdened. The elders said they would tie Cowdy up so he couldn't do it again. Cowdy said he'd still find a way to stop them, no matter what it took. The elders saw how serious Cowdy's face was, and they knew it was true. If Cowdy would take their loved ones away, they would take themselves away from Coyote. He would not be welcome around humans anymore. If anyone saw a Coyote, they were to throw rocks at him. If Coyote was hungry, they would not give him any food. If he was cold or wet, they would not give him shelter. Coyote would be on his own among the other animals forever. Coyote admitted this was fair, then took his things and left. People ignore or attack Coyote and his children to this very day. Thank you.